listen to another thought provoking episode of my finance podcast series i'm hitvi shah your host and today we are tackling an issue that can be easily missed which is pre bio pre diabetes did you know that more than 1 in 3 adults are pre diabetic and most of them don't even know it but the good news is pre diabetes is a wake up call because with the right steps this this can be reversed and to find out about how pre diabetes can be reversed we are joined by an esteemed guest today dr lokesh reddy pillapalliam dr lokesh is a highly respected consultant physician and diabetologist with vast experience in the prevention diagnosis and management of diabetes and related metabolic disorders over the years dr lokesh has been dedicated to educating his patients about the importance of early detection and lifestyle modification in managing pre-diabetes and that what that's what makes him the perfect guest today so welcome dr lokesh and it is a pleasure to have you today thank you okay. thank you hetri for uh, giving uh, such a nice introduction for me so doctor today uh, can you tell us what exactly pre-diabetes is and what lifestyle modification or uh, lifestyle interventions are necessary to control and manage uh, pre-diabetes and if you can give an overview about all of this so today we are here to enlighten uh, all of our uh, people around us so on mainly on pre-diabetes pre diabetes is a stage where it is called as a stage before uh, the onset of full fledged diabetes mellitus but if we see what are the main reasons for nowadays the increasing incidence of pre diabetes mainly our food habits and our sedentary lifestyles and uh, why and food habits means that it is a very broad term so people cannot understand what food habits what we have to take and what are the measures to take for a balanced diet and then what are the physical activity what is a required physical activity as per the evidence see i can't uh, put my own lines and everyone else opinion like that so there should be a proven scientifically proven studies with proper evidence then only uh, i can say that it is proven so we have to follow that according so it's not my personal opinion or your personal opinion we have to follow universally so we have to follow the universal scientifically proven guidelines whatever is available perfectly so the term pre diabetes means it's a stage where uh, what uh, the it is a stage before diabetes mellitus but here our body will try to compensate the uh, the mechanism of insulin resistance which has already started see uh, i keep on telling in my clinic to the patients that uh, the pre diabetes patient should not neglect because it is the only stage where you require zero medicines zero medications the one and only slogan is diet and lifestyle modifications if you follow strictly diet and lifestyle modifications then definitely your diabetes will get reversed so nowadays in the social media and in the outside areas you will be seeing here we can reverse the diabetes there will be so many herbal life products or nutrient life products they will be selling and managing that they, this product will reverse the diabetes it is actually not if you follow the strictly diet then definitely the pre diabetes will get reversed see in pre diabetes uh, the insulin resistance which has already started the body will tries to compensate produce more insulin so to produce more insulin the beta cells in our body will function more in the pancreas of our body so our pancreas will try to produce more and more in, uh, insulin when it tries to fail then only diabetes uh, symptoms you will get so in the pre diabetes you won't get any symptoms and per se in diabetes mellitus also many of the times you won't get any symptoms but when to go for a checkup this is a very big million dollar question everyone will get when to go for screening see when to go for screening is when you have the symptom when you have the family history if you have the family history both parents are single parent or diabetic or if you are gaining weight enormously if you are gaining weight overweight or obesity for asians 18 to 24.9 is the normal bmi if it is over more than 25 
then obviously you have to go for one time screening of your fasting and postprandial and 3 months average blood glucose levels and as per the american diabetes association if your fasting blood glucose is in between 100 to 125 then less than 126 100 to 125 this is a comes in the range of pre diabetes if fasting blood glucose levels is more than 126 then it comes in the picture of diabetes mellitus if post prandial blood glucose levels in between 140 to 199 then it comes in the range of pre diabetes if it is more than 200 it comes in the range of uh, it comes in the range of diabetes mellitus so next thing is if 3 months average blood glucose levels that is if hba1c is in between 5.7 to 6.5 it comes in the range of pre diabetes if it is more than 6.5 it is diabetes mellitus so the main importance of reversing pre diabetes lies in the cornerstone a key is to follow the diet that is balanced diet we have to reduce the intake of calories and then carbohydrate that means there is one entity called glycemic index the glycemic index means the time in which if you take any food for some stents uh, when glucose levels rise shoot up how much extent glucose levels rise after eating a, some particular amount of food that if it is rise too much then that food has high glycemic index if it is not raised too much then it is low glycemic index so in diabetes or pre diabetes we have to prefer the food items that has low glycemic index so what are the food items low glycemic index instead of taking simple carbohydrate we have to take complex carbohydrate like oats brown wheat and uh, millets you know rice these items they have low glycemic index compared to wheat and rice so you have to reduce the intake of high glycemic index food items and then you have to avoid beverages sugar sugar content beverages fry items oily food items high calorie diets red meats all these should be avoided when you have pre diabetes and obese so next thing is you have to in, increase the intake of low fat protein in protein there are two types of uh, proteins high fat protein and low fat protein so low fat proteins are like uh, lean proteins like chicken and then uh, legumes these are all low fat protein high fat proteins are red meat and then non other non vegetarian items are high fat protein so you have to prefer taking low fat protein with high fiber so and then obviously you are going to reduce the calories and then at least per day you are going to do physical activity of 40 to 45 minutes per day walking brisk walking five days in a week and apart from that you have to do strengthening exercises aerobic exercises you have to do maybe a one hour per day for five days in a week so if you follow this diet and uh, physical activity measures strictly for a period of 3 months to 6 months then definitely your blood glucose levels will become reversed to normal and not only that even in borderline diabetes type 2 diabetes mellitus also we can delay the onset of diabetes mellitus by following this strict diet and lifestyle modifications even though if we have the family history of diabetes mellitus we can delay the onset by following this diet and lifestyle modifications which i have explained now and imagine if you are on the medications level suppose you have got to level of type 2 diabetes mellitus also if you are taking medications if you strictly follow the diet and lifestyle modifications the medications the requirement will come down the dosage of the medications either insulin or tablets the requirement will come down drastically so apart from taking medications lifestyle modifications dieting and all you have to follow the proper duration of sleep is also required and you should not expose to too much stress levels and the stress also will increase the glucose levels by if you are the stress indirectly will increase the release of catecholamines that increase the insulin resistance so for sleep and stress management is also very very important so in the end i would like to conclude as a take home point that the pre diabetes is a reversible stage and it is a golden hour golden hour for the people we have to intervene at the right time 
this education is need of the hour now because we see a lot of youngsters in our preventive health checkups being land up in pre diabetes on top of that they will be having fatty liver other organ dysfunctions and then dyslipidemia high cholesterol levels and on top of that some patients we have seen nicotine addictions they are landing up into complications also recently one study published in lancet journal saying that even pre diabetic patients with other risk factors can land up into organ end complications like stroke and coronary artery disease like heart attack so what i am trying to tell you is as a take home the pre diabetes is a golden hour you have to be very vigilant and strictly following the diet and the lifestyle modifications to prevent the onset of full fledged type 2 diabetes mellitus the mainly you are not going to create burden on the pancreas where the beta cell dysfunction should not happen at the later stage thank you so from your experience what are the common barriers healthcare providers face in managing pre diabetes and how can these be overcome so what are the uh, main barriers see they are not going to maintain the consistency so they follow diet for a very less frequent uh, time and then uh, other thing what i have seen is uh, the family cooperation also will not be there many a times see to a obese patient you, if in front of him if you are eating high calorie diet obviously he will not be able to stop so the consistency and the mm-hmm. family cooperation and commitment and proper education about the importance of this uh, beta cell dysfunction progressing into type 2 diabetes mellitus is not there in the people that's what i am trying to tell this even this pre diabetes is more dangerous than full fledged diabetes mellitus you know why the diabetes mellitus uh, they can take the tablets they will be more vigilant but in pre diabetes people take it very lightly whenever patients come to me they tell sir i am having just a borderline so they won't be able to follow diet they will not be taking any medications they will not be following any lifestyle modifications also i strongly uh, uh, say them that i counsel them daily that the pre diabetes is more dangerous than the full fledged diabetes because it is a long run it going to create complications because they will not have a proper education on the concept of this pre diabetes progressing to diabetes and they will not follow the diet lifestyle modifications consistently and they will not have the family cooperation also many of the times and uh, the youth and younger generations by seeing the social medias they think that eating food is a hobby if someone is eating nice food in a hotel they think that that is some achievement so if they eat some fruits and healthy diet they think that he is a failure guy so this is this concept has to be changed in the people and nowadays because of this so many online food delivery apps the food is are arriving in seconds and minutes so this also creating lot of problem so people are eating more than 3 times a day some people will be eating every hour every minute something they have to be eating in the day time so what i am trying to tell you is here at this juncture we have to follow this diet modifications and lifestyle changes very strictly so that we can reverse the diabetes mellitus yes one last question before we wrap up would be like um, as someone uh, who sees the future of diabetes management uh, do you think technology like wearable devices or ai will play a bigger role in reversing or managing pre diabetes in the coming years yeah that that will play a major role obviously that is very nice question yeah see this artificial intelligence and this uh, digital media platforms if used in a proper way that's what i am trying to tell you if you misuse the technology you will be nowhere so that is what happening now people are why sedentary why they become sedentary because uh, nowadays people are not going to eat outside hotel also they will order and they will get it so this if you use the technology for becoming sedentary and lazy i think that will not help so we have to use the technology for a better education and uh, encouragement for the patients and we have to educate more number of people about the complications of pre diabetes and if we see so much fake news a uh, fake uh, news will be there and so many myths will be there in the social media we should not uh, believe those myths and we have to strictly follow the diet and lifestyle lifestyle modification and one more thing important thing i would like to tell 
if you get the full fledged diabetes mellitus if fasting blood glucose more than 126 or post prandial more than 200 3 months average more than 6.5 you tried all the measures then you should definitely go to an endocrinologist or a diabetologist you have to take the medications and you should not be reluctant in taking medications because that stage diet and lifestyle alone will not help us definitely you have to take medications along with diet and lifestyle modifications no that's it i think that is so truly said that right kind of information is very much necessary especially in the yeah. world of social yes. media so as we wrap up today's thank session you. i would like to thank dr lokesh for sharing such valuable insights and practical advice and it has actually been a real eye opener and to learn about pre diabetes and to all our listeners thank you thank, thank you hitvi thank you so much thank you for tuning into today's episode of medsinas podcast and if you are a healthcare professional who is eager to delve deeper into medical topics or have questions do not hesitate to join us on medsinas platform medsinas platform is not just a resource it's a dynamic space where you can connect with your medical peers participate in meaningful discussions and contribute to the ongoing evolution of healthcare So until next time stay informed and stay healthy